Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news we are now at the end of the year retail season. The Americans have started their Thanksgiving holiday weekend, and while the financial markets are closed, their important end of year retail selling season has just started. Much depends on how it tracks. The equity markets ended in New York in record territory on the back of very good data from earlier in the week. Oil, gold and benchmark US Treasury yields all ended unchanged, however. The Bank of England moved overnight to head off the risk of a bubble in house prices there, making a surprise announcement to kill off a scheme launched mid last year to boost mortgage lending. Their mortgage rates are now expected to rise and house building may fall. In Germany they have a new government, one led, still led by Angela Merkel but now including a coalition partner from the left. The changes include higher minimum wages, raised pensions and tougher attitudes to their neighbours who have debt and deficit problems. Later this morning we're launching some new and useful content, especially if you have a business overdraft. The new feature will show you what your business overdraft costs, whether you could save real money on your working capital funding, and if you could qualify for a larger facility. New Zealand dollar starts today lower again at 81.2 US cents, 89.3 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 76.3. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.